My mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? A large crowd gathered. I was here, young and passionate about the truth. Mycroft stood close to me. He was keen on my attending every official event that I might prepare myself for the Crown service. Lucky for you, that was the last time he did it. There was a stage here, a tribute. The governor gave his speech there. He was lying through his teeth and nobody noticed or didn't want to, but I noticed. I was extremely irritated by his lies. I shouted my opinions very loudly for everyone to hear. The crowd went wild. Mycroft was angry but calm and led me away from the stage. He told me that I should keep my mouth shut and that silence is golden. I couldn't stand for that. Behold, Sherlock Holmes's famous adherence to justice was born here. Extra, extra! A historic death! The local archaeologist killed Theodore Gilden because of ancient Roman treasures! Interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase.
I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Greetings. Would you be here about my violin by any chance? I am. I saw from your posters that it was stolen. The name is Sherlock Holmes. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I'm Anthony. Anthony Jones. But uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't seen my instrument, alas. <laughs> but if there's anything you can do to help locate it, I'd be most glad. Just tell me exactly what happened. How was your violin stolen? Some needy soul broke into my home while I was out. The only thing of value they took was the instrument. Did you report the theft to the police? I did, but they dismissed it as petty theft. Don't get me wrong, eh? I don't blame them. They certainly have more important matters to deal with. It would be another crime if I let some petty thief get away with your beloved violin. Let me help you find it. Oh, thank you very much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. <laughs> Come inside, I'll show you everything. Feel free to look around. was kicked in. We could bake apples here, or smoke a duck, Ooh, or make pizza. Do you like pineapple? This cover is dusty. It hasn't been taken off for a long time. The thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato. The jagged bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. Clumsy of a thief to cut himself on the glass he just broke. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display case. Nothing was taken except for the violin. How odd. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful if my sight reading holds true. I see you've received many accolades. Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. Anything else you'd like to know? You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery. I was only gone a few hours and locked the door before leaving. Does anyone else live here? No. My dear Emily died long ago. And God never blessed us with children. I used to give music lessons, but nobody visits me anymore.
the trail stops here along the waist. Hello, sir. Would you like some fruit? Fresh from the orchard? I'm not hungry, but I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you saw someone with one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. It was sailors, sir. And they were very good customers. They ate lots of fruit and said that my donkey looks like their friend. A lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant Sean. Hmm, a lieutenant. Did you see where they went? No, sorry, sir. I was helping other buyers. Oh, and sir, the sailors also took my donkey. So I guess they weren't very good customers. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. My father will kill me if he finds out. So I'm still waiting here for them. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? He lives nearby. Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. Funny you ask. I'm yet to crack a smile, so pray tell. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... I told them Mr. Jones can teach them how to play. Wait, so what is his violin? Oh. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you made up for it with your testimony. I'll find them and your donkey soon enough. Stay put. Someone must have seen where they took it. It's a donkey, for heaven's sake. Is this familiar to you? Listen, friend. I like your face. I'll tell you. The donkey was being stubborn, but so were they. There we are. The first lead in our asinine chase. Don't mind the mud, Sherry. Get your ear to the ground. I'm sure you'll hear the hooves. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? A pile of dung. An act of defiance. I hope it got on their shoe. Another bottle of whiskey. Oh, this must be Lieutenant Sean. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. Good grief, those drunks are wreaking havoc in there.
I'll cover you, partner. Only a king is out. Like hell. Take this. I couldn't miss the party. I'm coming for you. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Him. Don't rush. I'm coming for you. Take a rest, my the snuff's ready. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the... Take a rest, my... The snuff's ready. I'm coming. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. Weaken him first. I couldn't miss the party. <laughs> Don't cry, you'll live. I'm coming. The snuff's ready. Don't give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming for you. No more crime for you until next month. The snuff's ready. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. Well, they left me no choice. I think I might be nearing intoxication myself just from the smell of them. The maker's stamp suggests it was made by a student of Pressender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece. I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. You'd better go after it before someone decides to borrow it again. Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? And don't eat anything. Well, you can have a couple of grapes, but only the small ones. Well done. I look forward to the beautiful reunion. Oh, got my
These bare shelves are actually rather convenient. Less washing up. Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. It might have gained a few nicks and scratches, but considering what it's been through, it's a miracle that it's still in one piece. God bless you. I am deeply in your debt, Mr. Holmes. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the sound that matters. Oh, you should hear her sing. It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock, don't you recognize it? Look up, Sherry. There used to be an attic up there. We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I had forgotten how beautiful a violin sounds in the skilled hands of a virtuoso. That, uh, melody it brought back some memories. I have a confession to make, Mr. Jones. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room and listen to you play, spellbound by the music. <gasps> so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again, but knowing someone was listening helped me persevere. In fact, a young man like yourself could breathe a second life into this instrument. It's a remarkable outlet for one's emotion. You should have it. I, I can't accept that. And, well, I don't play. Ah, uh, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. The way I see it, the violin chose you. Take good care of her. Sherry, I'm really glad we helped him. I hope you'll enjoy playing it as much as I did.